everyone welcome back to a new video this is a very long video it, it's not very long but it's long um, but there's a lot going on so bear with me okay um right the products i'm using are all from the neo nail uk website i'm using the elastic gel this is perfect white so this is like the sculpting putty or plasticine gel um i've got bright violet this is my favorite oh my gosh that color i love i was like i've got to do a heart on the camera <laughs> Uh, then we've got sugar shot glitter this is beautiful i need to do this on a clear nail i reckon it would look amazing so if you can hear banging it's the work coming across the road right the gel polishes we're using are snow queen this is a white one oops i thought i'd put the lid on <laughs> whoops um then we've got plumeria scent i think i'm saying that right and then i have got sparkling flower this one have a quick look at this one oh isn't that amazing oh i love that the coverage is mm, on that as well and then we've got inner calm which is a very soft gray i really like that one and um, then i've also got these flocking powders the i don't know why i got the cream one out i was like will i use the cream one or will i use the white one i ended up actually using the white one so ignore the cream uh, we're also going to use the aquarel base the clear one and the dry top matte this is a dry this is a non-white top coat the matte right and this is the shiny version the dry top okay so those are everything that i'm going to be using i'll do use my nap mug detailer brush and you know dotting tool and all that stuff as well but oh yeah anyway right so firstly we are going to apply two coats of inner calm to we're actually doing these to three nails but i only show you me doing it to one um because i didn't decide until near the end of the video that i actually wanted to do three of the nails with this color so apply two coats each coat cures for 60 seconds and then you want to top coat so for this one i'm going to use the matte top coat this again then cures in the lamp for 60 seconds. This nail is going to be our hat nail. Oh my god, the hat is so adorbs. I love it. So I had a little bit of something in the top coat there to get it out. It's like contaminated with glitter or something. Right, pop it in the lamp. While that's in the lamp, I'm going to quickly work on the next nail. So I'm taking the inner grey, no, inner calm, plumeria scent sparkling flower and snow queen and we're gonna do we're just gonna do a quick marble i think marbles always look nice in a set of nails if you're never sure what to do like if you've got to do a whole set and you're never sure just bung a marble in <laughs> why not um on the base of the nail we're gonna put the aquarel clear base and i'm using my born pretty detailer brush to scoop it up scoop it up so this aquarel base is really good at helping disperse the colour. This marble turned out like none I've ever done and I really liked it. So this goes on. You don't cure this. Then you use your brush. You can use a flat gel brush if you want. I kind of like doing my with I like picking out with my ombre brush. And you kind of want to float it over. Don't don't like press it in. Uh what's the word? You know, like don't brush it over like you would. A gel you know when you're putting a, a gel polish coat on don't do it like that float it over floaty life no floaty light i don't know what it is actually i'll shut up now ah, what are you even on about i don't know right and then because you've put that aquarel base on the bottom that's not cured that's going to help disperse the marble how amazing is that i really love it mm, happy with that pop it in the lamp and we are then going to finish off this nail by sealing in that beautiful marble with the dry top coat so i thought we'd go with a glossy a glossy marble because it's got some of that sparkling flower the metallic gel polish i thought it was really nice if it was hollow i'd be like definitely glossy you could probably do i mean you could do it matte if you wanted to it's not a problem look at this glitter though Oh, how amazing is that? I really want to do that on a make it like a oh I need to, I've got oh things in my head. Um Charles, I need to use some of the other glitters because <laughs> I just seem to be using this one. We're gonna put this one on two coats of plumeria scent. That sounds really weird. Plumeria, is that even a word? 
it just sounds a bit weird so that was the first coat this is the second coat again in the lamp for 60 seconds and then we're gonna put the i need to yawn <gasps> where did that come from i'm boring myself oh my god i hope no one else is bored <laughs> Right, this is the hard base, so we're going to put down some base coat. Then I'm going to take a gel brush. I'm just rubbing that through the base coat, just so that it sticks, the glitter sticks to it. Then I'm going to tap into the glitter and then tap onto the, the base coat. And that glitter is then going to stick nicely to the base coat on the nail. You can put as much or as little as you want. You can do a swoosh. You can sort of just cover the whole nail. I didn't want to completely cover the whole nail because obviously you can see the gel polish through it. Um, because it's only this is only a gel polish set, sometimes if you put glitter on a nail, it can add a lot of bulk. So I, I've left like gaps between the glitter. You know, you can still see, you know, it's not completely covered, if you know what I mean. So yeah, so I'm, you know, once you're happy, I'm kind of happy with that. I'm going to pop that amount to cure. So now that glitter is all cured in place um, i'm going to go over with a layer of base coat again this is just going to smooth the nail out a little bit i like to hold it upside down as well before i pop it in the lamp before i put it in the lamp <laughs> i don't know if i said that but that's what it sounded like i meant to say pop and then go over with a layer of your normal top coat like your non-white top coat and then pop that in the lamp and then if it still comes out with some little knobbly scratchy bits on, I'm using the Neo Nail buffer here. I'm just going to buff over the surface just to smooth it out and make sure there are no scratchy bits because scratchy bits are the worst, aren't they? When you've got a nail and it's got a scratchy bit on. Oh no. So there we go. I'm going to go over now with the non-wipe top coat again. And now you're just gonna have a completely smooth nail. It's gonna be so much nicer to touch. I love to, I love, I kind of, I love, I like rub my thumb over my other nails sometimes. And oh, if I had a scratchy bit, that would be the worst. Right, so we've got the, this is the fun bit. This is fun, but tedious, right. So we've got the bright violet elastic gel. We've got a little bit of water in a pot. Don't do this on naked hands. Do this on a gloved hand because this is an uncured gel product and oh it's not you shouldn't do it you shouldn't do this i am very very naughty this is very very bad teaching am i i'm not really teaching i'm no i suppose i kind of am no i'm just kind of showing you how anyway shut up nats um someone did mention in a comment yesterday in yesterday's video because i said the same thing i said don't do this with naked hands and they said you should get some finger cots i think they're called and they're basically like finger condoms <laughs> I had to Google what they were. I was like, what are they? Oh, let me go and find out. And they were like, I was like, no, no, I'm not wearing those on my fingers. <laughs> anyway, um, right, I've put the, uh, I've rolled the product out into a sausage and twisted it like we did yesterday. Um, and I've placed it on the nail, but I've cut off the top and the bottom. Then I'm doing it again, but I'm twisting it in the other direction because we want the stitch to go in the different direction. And I'm going to place it up next to the other one. It is a little bit fiddly. Right, don't forget we've not cured the other one. So don't squash it or anything. Otherwise, you'll have to start all over again. And the good thing about this is if you do squash it or you make a mistake, if you don't cure it, you can just like pull it, like wipe it off uh, or scrape it off and start again. It's not going to ruin the nail. So you can see like, there we go. We've got our first bit. I do cure that now. I'm happy. Um, I've done it again. And I'm going to do this down the side. And remember, if you've done a stitch going one way diagonally, you want to put the next one on the other way going diagonally. And at the top, I'm going to cut it off at an angle so that as we put these little platy bits on, the top of the hat is going to start to curve down because you don't want a you don't want a rectangular hat. We want a kind of we want it curved along the top. So can you see we've got the stitch going in the opposite direction? I'm going to cut it off at the top at an angle and then at the bottom as well. And if you want to, you can kind of like, you can kind of, what's the word? Smooth it off a little bit, but you'll see, you'll see what I do. I'm going to do the same on the other side. 
Oh, I have done the same on the other side, right? But I just felt like the hat was too... It needed a little bit more this side. I'd obviously put the first ones on too far to the left. And um, because the hat looked... It looked wonk. It looked out of... It wasn't straight on the nail, if you know what I mean. So I'm going to put two more... Two more little bit... I think I... Do I put two more or one more? No, one... I, do, I think I'll leave it like that. Nope, I do another one. Okay, I did manage to get another one on. I can't remember. But you can see the top is curved. Right, pop that in the lamp to cure. Then we need to do the bit that goes around the bottom. And I'm going to do this with white. So I'm going to kind of put one so that it overlaps the first... The, 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 the first lot of braids that we put on. So I'm kind of putting it on the bottom of the braids. And then you kind of want this to sort of tuck around the sides a little bit. And then I'm going to do another sausage. And again, going in the other direction. And then I'm going to place this on the bottom. So we've got like, again, we've got like a double, double braid. Is that what you'd call it? I don't know. But they need to kind of stick out slightly further on the sides than the purple braids. You see? You see what I've done there? Pop it in the lamp to cure for 60 seconds. And then we've made a braid braided sausage. And I'm going to kind of... I've ruined this. I didn't do a very, very good job here. But I'm going to kind of curl it so that it looks like a bauble. Is it a bauble? A pom-pom. So it looks like a pom-pom. No. Is it a bauble? No, a bobble. It's a bobble hat. What am I on about? A bobble goes on a Christmas tree. Uh, some people call them ornaments. Right, I've learned that if you're in America, you call them ornaments. We, however, call them baubles in the UK. The things that go on the Christmas tree. But I want a pom-pom or a bobble, a bobble to go. And you, it looks a little bit shite, but actually it's not that bad. I'm just going to sort of squidge it a bit and, you know, faff a little bit. And I was like, do you know what? That's going to have to do. So once you're happy, pop it in the lamp to cure it. And it's so cute, doesn't it? And then I thought I'd give myself extra work. This is the worst bit. This bit was the worst bit. The worst. The absolute worst. This is the flocking powder bit. Right, so this chain is from Born Pretty. Um, I actually got some from AliExpress as well. I didn't realise. So this might be... I can't remember if this is the AliExpress packaging or the Born Pretty packaging. But I put them in the same packet because there was no point having two packets. So you get this like... It's like silver beaded chain, like a plug hole chain. <laughs> Keeping it classy. <laughs> I'm going to cut a little bit off. And then on the end of my dotting tool, I've made like... You know you make those bubble roses with, with gel? Well, I've done one of those. You see? And if you haven't... Oh, it was just... This video was going to be so long if I'd showed you me doing this bit. So I'm going to tease it off my dotting tool. I have done a video, though, on a bubble row. So I'll try and link it so that you can see what I've done. But I've just literally done it with clear gel. And then I'm going to kind of somehow stick the, be the, the beaded chain to the end of the... To the... Sorry, the end of the beaded chain to this little gel ball that I've made. And I've done it with some top coat. And I've got this little lamp. And I just sort of try and do it on that. And once I'm happy that it's sort of stuck, I'm going to put a little bit more top coat on it so that I'm, I know that it's definitely, the ball end is definitely not going to pop off. By the way, the lamp's off. There we go. Now stick it back on. And just don't cure it to your palette. <laughs> right, I did. Right, this is what I, I dipped it in the flocking powder. Um, with some top coat on and it didn't come out very well so what we need to do is I've decided that it looked better with a white gel polish so cover the ball in a white gel polish ignore that I've already done a layer of it just didn't work out so go over with the white gel polish and then dunk it in the flocking powder try and get the whole thing covered and then pop that in the lamp to cure um, they cure for 60 seconds, but if you're, because we're, oh wow, they're lifting something up over the road. Oh, that's big. It's with the crane. Anyway, yeah, it came out like this, and it looked a lot whiter and a lot fluffier, so I was more happy with that. So, we're going to now stick it to the nail. I'm using some gem glue here. So, I'm going to place that on one side of the hat, and, oh god, it was so bloody fiddly. Pop that, pop the other end of the chain into that gem glue. 
And then I was like trying to hold the nail and the tweezers and the tip. <laughs> and then with my other hand, I take that torch, that's it. And I cure the gem glue to the chain or the chain to the gem glue. And then look, oh, I love it so much. And now I'm gonna do another one because I'm a glutton for punishment. And um, yeah, it was, yeah. So I've got, this is the, these are the other two inner calm gray nails that I've done. Matte finished. I'm gonna now do a sweater nail. So this is on the end of my detailer brush here. This is the Nail Sugar Nap Mug detailer brush. I've got more of the same inner calm gel polish. And I'm just gonna make some stitches. This is so easy. I was, I, th I was thinking this is probably gonna look really naff or it's gonna look okay. And I think it looked okay. So I'm just putting some stitches down the middle. This was just to kind of mimic the hat a little bit. Then I'm gonna take some acrylic, um, this is the clear acrylic gel. Any clear acrylic gel will do. Pour it into the uncured gel polish. If you leave it a few seconds, if you get any shiny spots, just go back over with the acrylic powder um, and it will end up matte, not, not matte with some shiny bits. And then when it comes out, just wipe off the excess acrylic powder and you'll just be left with this really cute design. I've put some little lines down the sides as well, just to fill it, just to fill out the nail a little bit. Cure that, and I'm gonna repeat the same process on the other side with that line. And then we're gonna add some crystals. Can you see what I mean? This video is really long. So I'm using Preciosa Pure Lilac. These are SS16s. <laughs> I also <laughs> didn't put a lid on. Uh, <laughs> so this is a, this is a, pale lilac did I say pure I meant pale I'm also using the preciosa tanzanite color these are the round flat backs in different sizes I've also got the oh, I love these the preciosa violets I've got ss16s ss12s and ss5s and then I've got some clear these are it says ss3 but these are mixed sizes of clear preciosa crystals these are so nice. Preciosa crystals are really nice, can I just say. And then I've got some silver caviar beads. So all the crystals I'm using are from Crystal Parade. Um, if you want to purchase any, you can use code NAT5 and you'll save 5% on your order. So I was feeling brave and I decided to, if you're not very confident with crystal placement, do little sections at a time. Um, I, with swooshes though, I have found that I prefer to not this doesn't work all the time but I prefer to put all of the gem glue on where I want the swoosh because then it kind of gives me a guide you can see where the gem glue is because it's shiny it's the shiny part so this is gonna give me some yes yeah, some guidance of, of about where I'm gonna put my other crystals you see you see what I mean and I'm gonna place the bigger stones more in the center of the nail so that as the swoosh progresses up around the cuticle and down towards the free edge we can it like it decreases in size oh god am i am i even do you know what i'm on about so as we get to the bottom of the top the crystals are going to get smaller because the swoosh thins out that's i think that's what i'm trying to say so I'm going to watch, let you watch me put these crystals on and then I'll get back to you in a second. Okay, so those are all the crystals on. There are little tiny gaps though where I'm, where I've got, you can see the gem glue and on the edges of the swoosh. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some of those silver caviar beads in between any gaps just to fill out the design. And it kind of, I don't know, I just, I always think the caviar beads just give that nice little extra touch. You don't have to add them. If your client doesn't want them, then obviously don't add them. But 
oh my tummy's gurgling it's one o'clock in the afternoon just gone and i'm hungry i haven't had any lunch yet so i shall do this and get some lunch i'm gonna add a little bead at the top there at the very end just any way you feel like you need to bulk out or like if you've got a gap between a crystal you know inside the swoosh you can just stick them in but once you've done that pop it in the lamp to cure for 60 seconds once you are happy i was quite happy with that oh that's so nice i love crystals so much and this is the finished set so all the information, uh, all the websites and discount codes will be in the description box below. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please leave me a like. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing. And I will see you beautiful lot on Monday with a new video. Have an amazing weekend. <laughs> Love you all. Bye.